Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest cycles in terms of top speed. We're quickly going to go over the slowest vehicles right now and as always the position counter is in the top left with the actual top speed the vehicle achieved in the top right. This video only focuses on straight line performance so if you're interested in racing where braking, cornering and acceleration are all relevant, check the link in the description for the lap time testing series and if you want to know more information about this testing including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists all bikes and is correct as of the after hours update. For vehicles added after that or other classes of cars, check the playlist linked in the second line of the description and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to get these testing results a few days before the videos go up every Thursday. So again with the uh, top speed for the cycles it's very much the same story as what we saw for the lap time. Basically no surprises on the order in which these vehicles are in but maybe it's an interesting note to see what kind of top speeds these vehicles are actually going. So obviously we had the Cruiser in last place, just over 30 miles per hour for its top speed. Then the BMX and the Scorcher in third place here with just under 40 miles per hour for its top speed. Then the top two, which are the same as from the lap time testing video of the single player only Fixter in second place with a top speed of 44.3. And then obviously in first place, we're gonna have the race bike once again, not too much quicker than the Fixter with a top speed of about 47 miles per hour, but enough to make it, you know, clearly the best cycle in the game. And again, it doesn't matter which race bike you have, they're all exactly the same. So this is the first time that we've ever had the top speed for the cycles and it was the same story for commercial vehicles, emergency, military, all that kind of stuff. And that's all of the land vehicles tested for top speed now. Uh, same as what I mentioned for the lap time testing version of this video. All vehicles that can be tested on the track that I use for lap time or this top speed route that I use here they're all done they're all done now so there's only three separate there's only three classes remaining that's obviously boats helicopters and planes and those are obviously tested in a different way on you know different tracks you can't just drive them along the road but uh, yes just for the comparison here at the end i wanted to show just something again like i did for the lap time testing video a little bit different we've got first place in cycles of the race bike clearly beating for top speed the 10th best military vehicle in terms of top speed, the Kanjali. So, you know, if you've got two options and you want to get there as quickly as possible, the race bike is going to be the quicker one to get you there instead of a Kanjali. But um, in today's current GTA Online climate, I wonder how many people actually use cycles anymore. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, subscribe for more, and consider supporting on Patreon or joining on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.